using WP data tables with Visual Composer. Visual Composer is a plugin developed by WP Bakery. It's the most popular drag and drop page builder plugin for WordPress. Most of modern themes, especially themes sold on Theme Forest, uh, integrate Visual Composer because it really covers WordPress in the uh, maybe most weak part. Uh, WordPress is a really powerful CMS, but in terms of managing different layouts, uh, columns, maybe some different design blocks, it doesn't have the uh, power and enough flexibility. And Visual Composer covers this part. So if you didn't use Visual Composer yet, uh, I'd suggest you go and see the demos because even uh, people who know much about page uh, who, about web design who work with it all the time find that this is a very uh, very flexible very powerful and very easy to use everyday tool for uh, design of pages in this tutorial I would like to show you how WP data tables integrates with visual composer so that you could use use both and have the power of both in the same time. So uh, if you wor worked with the Visual Composer or even if you didn't, you can uh, check how it works now. You know that it's a drag and drop page builder and uh, it's enabled instead of the classic mode of the WordPress posts and pages editor that you can see here. So there is this button which we can toggle and it toggles the Visual Composer. And in this Visual Composer, we can add any elements or blocks. So uh, let's add the first element, which will be a row. And inside of this row, let's add a heading. Where is it? Headline. And let's say that the title is integrating WP data tables with Visual Composer. Let's add one more block here. And when you look through the elements, if you have WP data tables installed, you can see two additional elements to what you already had, WP data table and WP data chart. So let's first enter, uh, let's first uh, place here a WP data table. So we just need to choose this element and here in the drop down we need to choose one of the tables that we previously created. So when we choose the table we can additionally assign the variable placeholders. Uh, you can see our video tutorial on placeholders to see what this is and save the changes. So basically that inserts a WP data table. The only thing to notice here is that you should actu actually create a table before you start to create uh, the page because the table has so many settings and configuration blocks that having it all here in this uh, small pop-up window of Visual Composer uh, would overload it and it's much easier to go to WP data tables and create a new da data table from a data source or using the WP data table table constructor. So once we've inserted the table, we can save it. And then let's add one more sub row here and say that layout is going to be three columns. And let's add a couple of charts here. So we can click WP data chart and then choose this chart to be toggled to be inserted in this block, then the second chart to be inserted in the second block, and then one more third chart to be inserted in the third block. So you, you can see the names of the charts and of the tables that you inserted in the, in the uh, page generated with the Visual Composer here. So you always know what table and what chart did you insert here. And let's call our page Visual Composer Integration Demo. 
and the same for the title. Then we need just to publish it and once it's published it saves all the settings that uh, that we all the settings and all the changes that we made then we need just to go uh, to view page to see how it looks in the front end it added the headline it added the table that we've chosen all chosen there and it added the charts in three columns as we requested also these charts are linked to the table so whenever we filter the table or whenever we sort the table let us filter it for example from 1st of July to 31st of July there are four values here and you see that there are same four values in the charts so uh, that's how it works really simple so you just choose the uh, WP data table or chart that you created and you can insert it using uh, using the native design of Visual Composer. Thanks for watching and see you next tutorials. WP Data Tables, the easiest way to render interactive editable tables on your WordPress site. Purchase WP Data Tables exclusively on Code Canyon.